I feel, I, I feel, it's funny. I feel overwhelmed, but not in the way that I normally would when I have so much on my plate. Okay. But the thing is, the funny thing on that, and, and, but I feel not as stressed, which is good, but I feel like because I'm not as stressed, I'm getting things done. And as maybe, yes, like, like I feel like I'm moving too slowly or things are taking way too long and I should be able to accomplish more things in a day. And I, I, I am doing the technique that you talk about when you say prioritize the thing that needs to get done, do that thing. Mm -hmm. And I am. And I, I think part of it, too, I feel like there's multiple priorities sometimes. In any given moment, there's only one priority. Why do you want to have multiple priorities at one time? I don't want to. I just feel like there is, or I'm having trouble prioritizing, or I feel like they are equally. I feel like I'm frustrated with myself that mm -hmm. I'm not getting more done too, but then I'm not sleeping. Okay. What is the benefit of having multiple priorities due at the same time? Well, the answer went like by my head too fast. Well, go back. What is the benefit of having multiple priorities due at the same time? It certainly seems like a benefit, but you don't get anything done. Okay. That's what they like. It, like, that's what's coming up is that like, then you don't get anything done, and like, I don't know. That doesn't seem like a benefit. <laughs> that's my point of frustration, and it's, I kind of fought with myself to bring this forward because all day I kept hearing this message to talk about the food thing. I eat like sweets late at night. This seems like a very benign thing to talk about, but like. And it was like in, the, in my head kept saying, ask about the food, ask about the food, ask about the food. <laughs> so I don't know what that's maybe. I don't, I don't know if it's tied together. I don't know. Okay. But I can't, I'm like looking at a stack of bills that I have like something I need to, uh, the bills are not overdue, but I need to change all the bills into, like, I just feel like, yeah, I feel like my work list is about like yay long. Mm -hmm. My personal list is about yay long. The mm -hmm. things I want to do is like, you know, the yay long. Like I just feel, I feel spread thin, but not stressed like I used to. So that's, I mean, I'm You're glad I'm not stressed. I don't, I don't feel like I have to take like a bunch of anxiety medicine or anything. Okay. Like, that's good. <laughs> if you could get things done, would it be overwhelming? If I could get things done. The amount of things you have to do, if you could actually start getting no, them I would done. Love, I love the feeling of crossing the things off the list. Okay, that's huh? not quite true. And what would happen after you've crossed everything off the list? I don't know what to do. What was that? I won't know what to do. Okay. So if you don't know what to do, if everything gets done, isn't it best, the best thing to do is not get anything done? <laughs> to keep having things to fill a list. Yep. So look, mm -hmm. your connection is so bad tonight. It's so weird, I have good internet. I'm gonna close some tabs. Yeah, sure, it's the one that's in resistance. Uh, I just tried to move it to the 5G. I have good internet. <laughs> okay. Or I should. Okay. Have you done your life map? It's on the list. 
<laughs> I swear to God, it's been on the list. I've got like, I think up to year 10 done and it has been on the list. I write a big list every Monday and it's like 50 things and that's like Monday. And then as the week goes, I have to put more things on the list. I swear to God, this list is like insane. <laughs> But I am so protective of my own mental health and physical health too, that I know that sometimes I am doing things like, you know, like exercising or like, I feel like I have to eat. I feel like I have to go to the gym and stuff like that. Like, I mean, mm -hmm. I didn't go today cause I'm trying to get work done. And then two friends called in like a crisis that like needed to talk about things. And like, okay. I was like, okay, I'll talk to you while I eat my dinner. And then I have to go and I'm like, start my work. And then another friend calls. And like, yeah, you don't have to answer the phone, right? Like, yeah, I don't have to. I want, like, I want to be there. It was a situation. Okay. But I'm also creating, okay. I know I'm creating. Okay. Okay. First principles, who creates your reality? No, I know I'm creating it. So if you don't know what's going to happen, if you finish everything off, therefore you don't want to make sure you don't get things finished off. Wouldn't a great way to do that is to have friends call in crisis to keep you from doing shit? And you mm -hmm. saying, well, I have to, I want to do this. So, and this is the reason why I can't get shit done because friends call me in crisis and I have to take care of them. Yeah, but not it's just- a perfect the, solution of to course, not get not, your shit done. But it's not just that. Like, it's like, even during the day, like, I'm like, okay, you're doing good, but like, you got to move faster. Like, I, should, I don't even know where the time is going sometimes. Like, I'm like, what yeah. is- you're, because you don't want to get shit done we've just established i that. do want to get shit done it's not coming up is true i really if do. there's if there is nothing beyond getting shit done you will try not to get shit done so don't. let's imagine for a moment that you've got everything off the list there's nothing left on any of the lists what do you do with your life Whatever I want. What like whatever I want. Okay. Whatever I want is way too vague. What are you going to do now? Everything is done. I can do whatever I want. I'm going to travel. I'm going to go to places. I'm going to enjoy the company of my friends. I'm going to see clients. I'm going to uh, get, I'm going to be skilled in numerology i'm going to learn more about astrology and other things that interest me i'm going to write my tv shows wow, it's starting to feel overwhelming to me i like to make I told, you, I, have a, I told you my lists are big i have big lists what, what what's wonderful about having big lists I'm busy and I'm getting very sick of being busy. I'm sick of that answer always being like, people like, how are you? I'm like busy. I'm there. I'm getting really sick of that. Uh -huh. I feel busy. That's your story. I'm busy. Ugh. I'm always busy. Always I would like lots to, of things to do. I would like to change. I have a fear. I, I know this is strange. Here it comes. Come on. <laughs> I have a fear. As soon as like, you're like, what if everything's off the list? Like, I, I have a hard time to sit down and relax. So always even though I do Ooh. sometimes, so. I do, but when I'm tired, <laughs> but you can't relax if you're not tired. Yeah. So are you okay, trying to keep your, are you trying to keep yourself from relaxing when you're not tired? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you willing to destroy the belief that you're not allowed to relax if you're not tired? Yes. Oh my gosh, it's true. Uh. What if someone called you and asked what you were doing and you said, nothing, I'm not busy at all? <laughs> oh, that feels like a lie, first of all. <laughs> okay, but what if that was the actual, actually what was You're happening? I'm not getting anything done. God, it's annoying. No, but say, imagine the list got taken care of and then someone calls and says, what do you I love it. And I said nothing. Yeah. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't ever be doing nothing. Okay. 
if you get through your list, then you've got nothing. And so if you would never be doing nothing, you can't get through your list and you've got to keep piling on those lists. Are you willing to destroy the belief that you should never be doing nothing? Yes. <coughs> Ooh, wow. Whoa. Wow. Okay, how's that feel? Just a bit headachy. And true. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's my, it's my, I think it's also like, it's my grandfather's story. Okay. There was a lot of judgment around like, and then a lot of like, the word that comes to mind, rebellion, rebellion. with my grandmother or something like, if like, like, I just, I, I don't even know the story is coming out, but it is so that my grandmother would be mad because she would say like, oh, your grandfather loves to ask you to do something as soon as he sees you sitting down relaxing or you can't sit. She hates to see you reading a book, not me specifically, yeah. her. Like yeah. he doesn't want to see you. So if you're not busy, are you going to be asked to do things that you don't want to do? Fuck yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> are you willing to step out of that story? Yes. <laughs> if you have free time, you have to give it to someone else. Ooh, just step out of that story. Yep. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're making yourself as busy as possible just so you don't become busy. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so that you like a valuable, contributing yep. member of society. Look at you. Go, girl. Yeah, full of lists of shit I can't get done. Ah. This doesn't feel very contributing. It feels annoying, mostly. How annoying. Serving the story. Mm. Well, it was. Now we're going to shift the story. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you willing to destroy the belief that you have to make sure no one judges you as a, a non contributor? That's <sighs> 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 deep roots. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> Uh -huh. I was gonna process for a minute. Mm -hmm. That's deep. That's like the work, the money, the not getting enough, like not being, not calling in a lot of money easily. Yeah, that's a lot of. That's my judgment of other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just were taught to judge that way. Mm -hmm. So are you willing to step out of all your teaching of how to judge other people? Yes. Okay. Better, worse, same or different? Different and better. A little spicy different and better okay i'll take that yeah good it's gonna it's gonna like move a bit yep yeah that's All great right. thank you that's way deeper than i <laughs> <laughs> i'm always amazed how these things travel okay you're welcome okay thank you hey this is shiraz thanks for watching this video if you liked it please remember to like and subscribe to our channel and you can check out upcoming events at www.energeticmagic.com. And remember, be well, be aware, and be magical.